Listen up. Let's talk green, but not just any green. Let's talk marijuana, especially during pregnancy. It's 2024, and this topic's hotter than ever. Marijuana's blazing up in popularity across the U.S. But here's the twist. It's not just the usual crowd lighting up, expecting moms to be, are also joining the party, thinking it's all chill for nausea and morning sickness. Before going green while pregnant, you gotta know the real deal. Marijuana during pregnancy? Not a cool combo, folks. Yeah, some states give the green light for recreational, and medicinal use, but at the federal level, it's still a red light. Time for some real talk. The experts have weighed in. The American Academy of Pediatrics. They're straight up saying, nope, not safe for moms to be or nursing mothers. Here's the deal. Marijuana packs nearly 500 chemicals, including THC, that party crasher. It can cross the placenta, messing with your baby's development. Smoking up can cause low birth weight, preterm birth, and even risks like stillbirth. And that's just the start. Long term, your little one might face memory, learning, and behavior challenges. Not cool, right? Breastfeeding while lighting up? Also also a no-go zone. Those cannabis vibes can flow right into breast milk. Now, let's break down a real-life scenario. According to a case study, a 23 years old, at 18 weeks pregnant, struggling with severe nausea. Guess her go-to? Cannabis. Seemed like a quick fix, but here's the twist. Her situation actually got worse. Increased cannabis use for morning sickness led to unexpected health complications. It's not the nausea remedy it's hyped up to be. In our quest for a drug-free nation, cannabis is walking on thin ice. Laws vary, debates are fiery, and the moral compass? It's spinning. Before you think of reaching for that joint or edible, remember this. It's not just about you. Your choices echo through generations. Give your baby the healthiest start in life. Sometimes the best way to care is to steer clear of the green. Well, I'll ask you why the big fuss. Why is marijuana still taboo? Pregnant women who smoke pot. They're often slapped with labels. Careless, irresponsible, bad mothers. The judgment is swift and unforgiving. In the court of public opinion, opinion, these women are often tried and convicted without a jury. The stigma doesn't just sting, it isolates and shames. The inner turmoil is real. Battling nausea, some moms-to-be turn to cannabis as a last resort. Yet the fear of being labeled and the guilt that follows can be overwhelming. On one side, you've got the natural remedy advocates. On the other, the stern warnings of science and law. Caught in the middle, pregnant women navigating a maze of mixed messages. Scroll through social media and the divide deepens. Supportive communities exist, but so do the critics. Every post, every share adds to the complex tapestry of opinions. What's needed here isn't more judgment. It's empathy, understanding, and better awareness of the risks involved. These women aren't just statistics. They're humans grappling with tough decisions. As we move forward, let's aim for a society that supports, educates, and empathizes. Let's replace stigma with science and judgment with understanding. For every mom-to-be, for every child, for a healthier future.